here are the biggest game releases of July 2023. Starting us off on America's birthday, July 4th, we have Synapse for the PSVR 2. Hey, did you spend roughly $600 on one of these headsets? Good news! Here's one game for you this month. At least it looks neat. The Legend of Heroes Trails into Reverie releases on July 7th for PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, and PC. I don't know much about the Trails series, in fact I didn't even know it was a series, but this looks like it could be a fun JRPG, and at one point in the trailer they find a girl who is locked in a suitcase, so that's something. Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals comes out on July 12th for PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, and PC. It's the sequel to the game about the scariest thing of all, AM Radio. Next up is Atelier Marie Remake, The Alchemist of Salberg. Boy, is that a catchy title for PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, and PC, which I believe is coming out on July 13th, as that's what it says at the end of the trailer. But then in the YouTube description, it says July 17th, and then on the Steam page, it says July 12th. So, yeah, this is coming out sometime in July. I can confirm that much, at least. July 13th also gives us Manic Mechanics for the Nintendo Switch. The only thing manic about my mechanic is how much he charges to change my oil. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't own a car because they don't let me drive anymore, not after the incident. On July 14th, we get Capcom's definitely not Dino Crisis game, Exo Primal, for the PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X slash S, and PC. This game looks like Capcom remembered that they had both the Dino Crisis and Lost Planet franchises gathering dust, so they just smashed them together to make something that looks like Earth Defense Force with a dash of Anthem. Lisa Definitive Edition is out on July 18th for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X slash S, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Hey, do you like feeling happy and believing that there's still hope for humanity in this world? Then don't play this game because those feelings will go away and they will not come back. Pikmin 4 releases on July 21st for the Nintendo Switch. Never played a Pikmin game before, so I might pick this one up so my Switch has something to do other than load up Tears of the Kingdom because I'm, I'm still playing that game. I, I, I'm playing it while I play other games. I think I might need help. Remnant 2 shoots its way into our hearts on July 25th for PS5, Xbox Series X slash S, and PC. Remnant from the Ashes was a pretty solid game, so I'm surprised that the sequel doesn't seem to have much hype behind it. I mean, it's got dumb sci-fi lore, it's got three-player co-op, and it's a Souls-like with guns. That means you can shoot the souls out of things with your gun. That's gotta be worth some hype. Former PS5 exclusive Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart gets a PC release on July 26th, which continues Sony's long campaign of porting all their games over to PC except for Bloodborne. July 27th has Episode 1 of The Expanse, a Telltale series, for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, X slash S, and PC. I know two things about this game. One, it's based on the popular cult favorite sci-fi series, The Expanse. And two, it's not The Wolf Among Us 2, so I hate it. And lastly, on July 28th, we have Disney Illusion Island for the Nintendo Switch. It's a four-player Metroidvania with a charming art style. I hope it features the writing and humor of the recent Mickey Mouse cartoons, because those are actually quite good. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, those cartoons gave us this image of Mickey Mouse licking a dwarf. Let that sit in your head for a bit. Did I miss any games? Feel free to let me know in the comments below and tell us which games you're excited about coming out this July. And for more gaming news and guides, be sure to check out thegamer.com. I'm Jamie Latour with The Gamer, and we'll see you next time.